In this guide, I'll show you how to set up your Roku Ultra streaming player to your TV or monitor. So in the box, you're of course going to find the Roku Ultra. And if you take a look on the back side, you're going to find the power port, the HDMI port, the ethernet port, and the USB charging port for your remote control. So if you have a look at the bottom, you'll be able to see the USB-C port, where you'd plug the charging cable into, and then you just want to plug it into your Roku Ultra in order to charge your remote. So here's the charging cable that you'll find in the box as well. And with that, you're also going to get the HDMI cable that you'll want to plug into your Roku Ultra and into your TV or monitor. And here's the power cable. So let's start off with the HDMI cable. What we're going to do is grab one end and we're going to grab the Roku Ultra and you just want to plug the HDMI cable into the back. Now you want to plug the other end into your TV or monitor. And then all you need to do is grab the power cable and we're just going to plug this into the back of the Roku Ultra, and then we're all ready to go. Now, if you wanted to use a wired connection, you can use an ethernet cable for the back, but I'm just going to use it this way with the wireless. So once you're all ready to go, be sure to take off this little strip on the front so the remote control will work fine. Now on your TV, make sure you're on the correct TV input, and then with the remote control, you wanna press the home button and the back button for five seconds to put it into pairing mode. Now you should see a light on the top of your remote control start flashing, indicating it's trying to connect. And you'll get this little notification on your screen that the remote control has connected. So once it's connected, you can select your language. And then what you wanna do is select a wireless or wired internet connection. So I'm gonna go with wireless and go to set up new wireless connection. And it's going to look for your wireless network. So once it pops up, you can go ahead and select it. And then you'll have to input the password for your Wi-Fi network. So once you've input your password, you can press connect and give it a few seconds to connect to your internet connection. And then it'll ask you to update your Roku player. So you just wanna wait for all these updates to finish. Now, once they're finished, you'll be brought to this page where it'll ask you to set up your Roku remote to control the power and volume of your TV. So select continue and you wanna select your TV brand. And once you've selected it, it's going to ask if music is playing, make sure the volume's turned up on your TV and you just wanna follow the prompts until you've set up your Roku remote, so it's going to be compatible with your TV. So once you've completed that, you'll get a success notification and you'll now be able to use your Roku remote. And then it's going to ask you to sign in or create a Roku account. So you can either enter in your email address or activate with a QR code and go ahead and input your information. Now you are going to need access to your email address in order to activate the device because you are going to get an email for that. And then you'll have to input your personal information on the Roku website in order to set up your account. So just follow the prompts on screen, depending on whether or not you're creating an account or signing into an existing account, you will get different questions, but just enter in your information and then your Roku device will be set up once you're finished. So on the left side of your remote control, you're going to find a voice assist, which you can leave on or off, but you just have to select I understand on your TV and then press continue twice to finish the setup. So here you'll see the Roku home screen and on the right, you'll see a bunch of different popular apps that are already pre-installed on your Roku. So have a look through here. And if you wanna add any apps, you can select add apps at the bottom. You can also go to that get started if you want to learn more about the Roku. This guide was helpful, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.